I got my ass up at the crack of dawn, 7 a.m. I got dragged to something called the Tough Mudder, and we just arrived here. Thanks a lot for dragging me. <laughs> it's too early for this shit. It's a 10K. I mean, essentially, six miles, six right? Miles. Six miles. There's gonna be obstacles. I'm not worried about the cardio. That is my strength. My weakness is the upper body strength. I lack most of that. I got thick thighs though. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sign in. We're gonna start. And I think my goal is just to do the best I can. The obstacles are my literal obstacle, but we're gonna work <laughs> through it. <laughs> Uh, no pain, no gain, or whatever Mark Wahlberg says. I did smoke a little weed, a lot of weed. Smoked a lot of weed. Ooh, they got the right idea. No, absolutely not. No, I'm not doing that. Are you ready for this? Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You want me to do what? All right, we're getting it. So I knew off the bat there were gonna be some obstacles I wouldn't be able to do. And of course the first one I thought would be a little claustrophobic for me, face down, ass up in the mud. Not my style, at least not on this platform, lol. So I teased Nathaniel and Diogo and called them little piggies. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, super hot. Super hot. Muddy feet, muddy feet. Woo! <laughs> oh my god! I feel like I'm swimming in diarrhea. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, team. We have to link up? Yeah, we link it up. I tough mudded in my pants. Since I couldn't catch myself on film for every single obstacle, I tried to film the boys doing as much as I could. Um, and yeah, they helped me climb over this wall. They gave me a boost and then I watched them climb over this wall and we would continue to climb over walls all day. Uh, my favorite obstacle, the ice bath challenge. It's like, get yeah. Get, get fully submerged. Get deep. Get it. You got it. Go, go, go. <laughs> go out the front. Go out the front. Go out the front. <laughs> God damn it. Oy. Sometimes when you ask someone to film you, they don't realize that you're doing this for YouTube and not Instagram or TikTok, so they film the wrong way, but damn, my butt looks really good. Once again, I had to get a boost up here because I have zero upper body strength, and then Diogo's magical long arm just scoots me right up to the ropes, and off I go on my adventure to cure my fear of heights. Who's in this? Yeah! Woo! Ah! Okay, checking in. How was it? How was it? It was fun. I approve of this obstacle. Yeah. What I learned is that I have zero upper body strength, which I already knew. But something I didn't know about myself is I'm starting to get over my fear of heights. Yeah! We made it to mile three, baby. Yeah! I'm exhausted. I feel like I'm doing a regular hike, except my shoes are full of water. I feel like I'm walking in a swimming pool right now. What is this? Is it water? Oh, is it no. dirt? Oh no. I'm scared. 
Who wants um, to get dragged? Me! Whee! Oh. I lost my <laughs> You got this. Bree, come back. Come back. Come back further. Come back? Yeah. Oh, oh, are we gonna like gurney? <laughs> go! <laughs> okay. I'm stuck. Oh! Go, boys, go! Rock the boat, go rock the boat, baby! Rock the boat, go to the boat under! Rocks are getting eaten up by my pussy. I don't know if I want to be face down in this water. Once again, I opted not to be face down ass up in this challenge. As you can see, they are getting shocked by the electrical current thingies. Uh, I was like, no. I know there's another electrical challenge later, and I did do that. So, ugh. What I'm also realizing is I have a lot of sensory issues. This one I did decide to do because it was face up. Turn around. Go ahead first. Yeah. Yeah. Get me out of here. Oh, now, now, now it actually is relaxing. Get me out of here. I hate this. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hated that. Oh, I hated that. Oh. 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 Okay. Mile five. The final stretch. I did not feel like sacrificing my titties to do this challenge. They would have been flattened, like flatter than they already are. So new. And thrust. Oh, that was thrust. Because you can, you can like, you can lift yourself up and you won't just break. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. This one was actually my favorite challenge, and Nathaniel and I were partnered up, and we successfully crossed over the entire bridge just holding each other like this i'm sad we didn't get it on film but that was definitely my favorite obstacle of the whole day my favorite part about diogo cam is that he is so much faster and better than me at all things look at him passing my lazy ass going up this hill this was less of an obstacle and more just a weird fucked up part of the trail. It's just a really big slope that you kind of have to shimmy your way down. I realized you could just go down on the left if you wanted to. I should have just done that. I almost broke my face. We going for the transition. Now what? Now what? Oh, we go back up? You mush your titty? Yeah, still there. <laughs> My boobies did get flattened on this, and we had to do it again. Look, we climbed over one, then the other. I feel like a turd floating in the toilet. That's totally what this challenge is looking like. You basically have to sit on a floaty thingy, like a punching bag, and pull yourself across with your teammates and not fall in the water. We did not fall in the water, thankfully, but that's just because Diogo. That was really good. Go, Diogo! Yeah! 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 This one gave me a little bit of anxiety. It reminded me of people trying to get off the Titanic once it hit the iceberg. And there were just a lot of people in there at once. So I was like, no, thank you. And there's, um, oh, this is, you got to push yourself. There's a lot of upper body strength. And then you got to help. You all have to work together as a team. And there are Nathaniel and Diogo in the back. Nathaniel goes, oh, head first. Interesting approach. I like Diogo's better because he doesn't go face first in the water. The dirty, filthy... Oh, so many people just baking in that stew. This was the last obstacle, so I could not not do it. But if you watch this approach of running through, I should have just done that because I made a mistake. 
and Diogo's about to go dancing through, which I commend. It's hilarious. And yeah, those are electrical wires. Oh, oh yeah! Watch it! Now we got some! Yeah! Look at him dancing his way through. Get it, get it, get it, get it! Uh, 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 uh. The best of the day right there, you sexy animal. Don't hold back. That's how you do when you're living. She's in! She's in! Look at her! <laughs> yeah, do that camera oh, work, fuck, girl. that hurts! Come on, that's alright. That's alright, keep it steady. Come on, so we don't have to edit it. Come on, come on, come on! Yeah, fuck, 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 it hurts. Oh my god, it hurts so bad. Oh my god, it hurts so bad. Oh, it fucking hurts, bitch! Oh, it fucking hurts! No more, no more! Ow! Like BDSM straight up. That end was so intense. Thoughts? I did it three times. I danced. And never Woo! Hurt. Dancing never hurts so much. Oh. We did it! That was definitely one of the most challenging things I've ever done in my life. And we ended strong. We danced with the people. We ate the food. Would I do it again? Maybe a 5K. Maybe I wasn't ready for a 10K and maybe I should just do the 5K. But yeah, we had a great time. So thank you so much for watching. What was your favorite obstacle? And what were some of the obstacles you could or couldn't do? Let me know in the comments below.